Namaste everyone, good evening, good morning, good evening if you're in the West Coast, good morning if you're in India. I guess Lara is evening. That's great to know. All right, let's lie back in Shavasana, arms apart, legs apart. Welcome Priya Shah, welcome Krishna. Good to have you guys. Krishna and Sora, if you guys would like to turn your cameras on. And let's lie back on the mat, arms apart, legs apart. And let's begin to relax. Breathing in deeply and breathing out. Breathing in all right, that's fine, Krishna. Kanu and Sora, if you guys would like to turn your videos on. 
Don't worry, only no one's watching you guys. Except for me. Just lie back on the mat and just begin to settle in. Tune your minds in to the sounds of the chat. Good morning, Anu. And just begin to relax, breathing into the toes, into the ankles, into the calves, into the thighs, into the back. into the calves, the back, the fingers, the wrists, the forearms, the chest, breathing into the face, the chin, the lips, the nose, the eyes, the forehead. Just letting the spine sink into the ground, feeling the weight of the spine. And before we begin the practice, let's take our palms and place them on the ground. So inverting the ground palms and feeling the energy of the earth. This is our this earth is our sustainer, so just feeling this earth. This is the earth where so many beings, including us, get our energy from. It's so just breathing and feeling and just like a battery beginning to charge the body. like a battery charges itself. It's going to charge our bodies using the energy of the earth. And before we begin, we place our sankalpa, our resolution, Searching in our subconscious for one resolution which we will keep the next nine days. One habit that you'd like to inculcate in your life. Something that you'd like to get rid of. A habit, an emotion. Finding that and then repeating it firmly three times, taking your time today. Let's not be in a hurry to complete the practice. Let's not be in a hurry to get back to life. Let's take the next one and a half hours for ourselves. slowly wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. Stretch the arms up over and above the head. And stretch the whole body. Stretch everything up. And rolling over to one side or place the hands underneath the knees and start rolling on the mat. So choosing one variation. If you need to rest a little longer, you can rest or you can just begin to roll on the spine. Rolling side to side, rolling forward and backward. 
feeling the whole spine. And then whenever you're ready, just roll up into a seated posture in just a few minutes of silence. Now, beginning with our prayer. We say the Priyambaka Mahamrityanjaya Matra three times. Aum. 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 Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Uruvarukam Eva Bandhanat Nitya Or Mukshi Amamukha Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Uruvarukam Eva Bandhanat Nitya Or Mukshi Amamukha Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Uruva Yukameva Bandana Nitya Mukshema Mata Shanti 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 Hare Om Tapsat, welcome everyone to class. Thank you so much for coming this Saturday morning. I know it's never easy to commit yourself to an hour and a half of yoga, you know. Um, even before teaching you guys, sometimes I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know. So then after the class is done, I'm always so happy that, you know, and, it, and I realized it was the best part of my day, right? So um, always difficult to keep the yoga habit up, right? But it's always a very good and substantial way to begin or end your day. So now today is also... A special day right it's the beginning of Navratri and I know that we have a lot of religious days you know they're always coming up right there's a Janmashtami then there's a Ganesh Chaturthi and then there's something else and something else but I, I, I do feel that Navratris are special you know and if nothing else because so many people around this country are um, they believe in it you know and that creates a certain energy it creates a very very beautiful energy that all of us can tap into so just, it's also a wonderful nine days of introspection. You know, the rest of the 300 and whatever else days in our lives are spent just, you know, living, right? We're spending our, with our kids, our homes, our work, our families. So just if we take these nine days, just nine days every year, and just think a little bit about our spiritual journey a little bit deeper, um, there can be profound changes. You know, this is a profound time of sadhana. It really, really is. You know, I've experienced this in my own life and um, so many other people, you know. So if everyone is saying it then, it must be true, right? <laughs> uh, it can be completely, can be completely, um, completely false. So this is my suggestion for these next nine days. You know, um, try, to, try to think of one thing, you know, just think of one thing in your life that you'd like to change, right? And try to remember that for the next nine days, whether it's something that you need to leave. Often it's food, right? And that's why fasting happens. So a lot of people use the fast, but the fast is just a control of the mind. It's a control of our senses and our desires in the grossest way, right? Our, our, our taste. So I would really, really suggest, and you have this entire next one hour, 20 minutes to build up your sankalpa. So during this practice, think, you know, think what is that one thing, right? Whether it's an emotion, whether it's a habit, um, what is it that, you know, you want to work on in these next nine days? You know, just, just try and every single day, come back to it. And I promise you, you guys get a full refund after these nine days. If whatever you were working on didn't turn out the way that it did, you know, uh, my guru always said, that whatever you do in these nine days, it's 10,000 fold benefits, 10,000 fold benefits. Whatever you're asking for, whatever you're trying to work on, especially on a, um, on a spiritual level, you can achieve. 
So even if it's something as simple as out of these nine days, I'll do six days of yoga, you know, try. This, I, I promise you it's powerful. So just try. Um, it's only nine days after all, right? So set an intention, but set something which is reasonable, right? If we set something completely unreasonable, then um, failure is more likely. And if failure happens, then we feel dejected. So if, for example, if it's yoga, if it's nine days, if it's just even five days, you know, rather than saying every single nine day, I'm going to nine days, I'm going to do a practice. So something like that. All right, so let's begin with our practice. So today's agenda is that we're going to be doing a very meditative class. Okay, but before we get into the meditation part of it, we will be working a little hard. Okay, we'll be doing a couple of drills, a couple of things. We're going to get a little bit tired and then we're going to relax. All right, so um, they are going to be a little intense. They're more cardiovascular and, um, you know, drill movements which benefit our yoga asana practice. But before we do all of that, we're just going to begin with a few warm-ups and a pranayam practice, and then into our, war into our drills, a little intense, and then into a slower practice. Does that sound okay? All right, perfect. So let's get going. So anyone who's new here, um, we go, you know, we do the Kapal Bhati and Aniloma Viloma practice. So, you know, just do as best as you can. We can send you a video later if you need to know how to do this. Keep the hands on the knees and slowly start moving forward and backward, just initially warming up the spine. Inhaling and exhaling. So just beginning the movements, connecting the body to the breath. And if the mind is feeling very, very, very active and not in a meditative state, just give it time move in the other direction. Sometimes if we take out all the rajas and do a little bit intense movements, then the mind gets rid of its excess energies. And just connecting to the body and the breath. Coming back to center. Let's open up and down. Open up and down, just opening and closing the chest. Just getting the spine and the neck, releasing any tension and also understanding how the chest is moving now bringing the soles of the feet together let's open up the pelvis and guys actually you know what let's first get rid of the hard part come let's all stand up we'll first do our hard part of the practice and then we'll go into the pranayam later I think rather than saving <laughs> this for later, let's do this now. And if there is any extra active energy, then you're gonna feel this actually helping you with the pranayam, okay? So keep the legs apart and just move side to side. So the next 10 minutes, okay, just 10 minutes, 9.16 to 9.26, we're going to be just moving our body and keeping our heart rate up and then we move into our sun salutations, asanas, and we're going to do the pranayam at the end of practice today. Sorry, guys. To the sudden departure. Then it's always important to keep evolving the class, depending on the energy of the group. And first warm-up is going to be two minutes of jumping jacks all right just two minutes let's slowly start jumping and this is a little hard for you you can just jog in the spot for two minutes okay so taking two variations of the practice whatever you're doing you should feel the heart rate moving up you know all of these things that we're doing we're trying to ultimately 
bring the heat up in the body so that the asanas are more beneficial. So just opening up. And if you need a little bit more, you can try and clap the hands on top of the head, opening up the shoulders. And just making sure that you're continuing to breathe. Very nice. Okay, one minute is up. One more minute. Keep going based on your own capacity. But keep the intensity up. And if you stop in between, Tina, come on, something jacks. And let's stop. Let's move side to side. Getting all the toxins out of the body. And now Vishram, keep the hands behind you, keep the legs apart, and let's breathe. Closing the eyes and focusing on mentally slowing down the heart rate. All right, exercise two. We're gonna keep the legs apart, bring the hands, and you can either do this dynamically. So Prakash, keep the legs a little bit more apart. The legs are nice and wide. And so this is one, other one is. Okay, so let's Take whichever variation. I encourage those who are able to take the one, which is Amitabh, come. I'm in the jumps. Very nice. And you can do this slowly. You know, feel the movements in the legs. And bring the net legs nice and wide apart. And then come all the way down. Come on, Serbi. 30 more seconds. Beautiful, Vinita. Keep on going. And coming back to center. Visham. Hands apart. I mean, your hands like this. Keep the hands behind you. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And then start to move the hips. The hips are moving, hands are like noodles. So, just the movement of my hips. So I'm really shaking out everything from the body. And now, our last five minutes of warm up. We're going to be working with the mat. So I'm going to be showing you two variations. So you can begin with the right foot in front, the left foot behind you, and you're going to switch the legs. Okay. And if this is too difficult, you can just, you know, you can just try to do this. This is the second variation. If the first is too hard. You want to just bring the knee forward and back, knee forward 
but otherwise everyone else is going to try to do this yoga martial arts movement so two variations namaste i know that's not priyanka but come very nice try to bring the foot in between come on guys just one more minute let's keep going two variations these are two wonderful variations to get you going if you try the full practice and then that you can absolutely do this a little faster so we are doing one of two practices either this or we're simply moving the knee towards the chest so keep going 20 more seconds but let's take the jumping option beautiful rajiv 10 more seconds 10 9 seep other option 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 all right good job guys and let's stand up on the floor on the mat vishram Okay guys, only 3 more minutes of this torture, okay? I promise. Then we're moving on to the asanas, okay? But I promise you this is helping, right? This is the weekend. We're just not going to regret this later. So just opening up and if you need to, we take a moment of vishram, keep the hands behind you. and breathe into the heart and cool down the heart after this we're going to be moving into a very slow and meditative practice we're just doing four rounds of sun salutations and then we go in so this is the time to get that sweat going to get a little heart rate up okay now we're going to do our leg kicks so keep the leg knees completely straight and kick the leg all the way up let's just keep going and just connecting the breath inhale as the leg comes up exhale as it comes down Let's move a little faster if you can. And it's a lovely kicking motion. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. and 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 1/2 and one and down good job everyone then i think i can just begin the leg kicks like we were doing do that for about 2 minutes while the rest of us move on to the other drills and just with sham breathing in and breathing out Uh no guys let's avoid drinking water so the end of practice keep the hands on the waist let's move back taking the legs back
keeping up the focus. And I promise that in five minutes, or in, yes, the pace is going to drastically change. So just stay with me. Back to center and to the side. So you should feel this. You should feel this in your piriformis right here. The more in control the legs are, the better this is. So just try and see what's happening. Feel the muscles. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Arms apart, legs apart, and relax. Vishram, close the eyes, and just bring the heartbeat back to normal before we move into the practice of sun salutations, Surya Namaskar. So anyone who's new here, if you guys have any questions or doubts, just you know send me a chat message during the practice. Okay, just keep breathing. Breathing. Closing the eyes, connecting the body to the breath and preparing ourselves for the practice of Surya Namaskar. So just come to the top of the mats. Closing, closing the eyes. And breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And now let's begin. Let's inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, bring the arms up and arch back. Exhale, slowly coming all the way down. Bring the fingers in line with the toes. Inhale, bring the right leg back, chin up, chest up. Retain the breath, plank position, stay here and hold. Exhale, knees down, chin down, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V, and just stay here for a second. Push into the palms, push into the feet. Feeling the posture. You can walk one inch forward to get a better understanding of what's happening to your back. Inhale, lift the right leg all the way up. Bring the knees towards the chest and bring the palm in between the legs. Exhale, bring the left leg forward. Inhale, arms up, arch back, and release. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, slowly coming down. Inhale, bring the left leg back, chin up, chest up. Retain the breath, plank position. Exhale, knees, chin, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Once again, stay here, feel the posture. Lift the legs, leg up. Bring it in between the palms. Other leg forward. Inhale, arms up. Arch back and release. Second round, inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, slowly moving down. Inhale, right leg back. 
retain the breath, other leg. Exhale, knees down, chin down, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right leg up, leg forward. Left leg forward. Inhale, arms up, arch back and release. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, slowly come down. Inhale, left leg back. Retain the breath, other leg. Exhale, knees, chin, chest. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, arms up. Arch back and release. Two more rounds. But like before we begin, I just want everyone to take a little break. Just connect to the body and the breath. And next two rounds, we're really going to do this well. Okay, understanding every single part of the body. Slowly but with proper alignment. Okay. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, bring the arms up, tighten the buttocks, arch back. Exhale, slowly moving down with control, bring the fingers in line and next to the feet. Inhale, bring the right leg back, bring the right knee on the ground and push the chin up and chest up. Push the palms into the ground. And once you're here, take the right leg and slide it even more back. Feel the deeper stretch in the pelvis. Retain the breath, coming into the plank position and everyone stay here. The hips and the shoulders are in one line. Close the eyes and breathe. Knees down, chest down, chin down, tuck the elbows towards the body. Inhale, gliding up into cobra. Push the navel into the ground. Exhale, inverted V, and just stay here. Push into the palms and push the heels back. And trying to lift the buttocks up in the air. The head is in between the palms. And now take the right leg and lift it all the way up. The toes are pointed away from the body. Bring the knee forward, bring the balance forward, and place the leg in between the arms. Try not using momentum. Bring the left leg forward and slowly with the head in between the arms, come up, arch back and release. The left side, again, with the best proper alignment. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, slowly come all the way down. Inhale, bring the left leg back. Retain the breath, other leg back, plank position. Exhale, knees, chin, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Push into the palms and try to bring the pressure on the heels. Lift the left leg all the way up. Bring the leg forward. Bring the right leg forward. Inhale, arms up. Tighten the buttocks, arch back and release. Last round. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, slowly moving down with control, with control. Inhale, bring the right leg back. Bring the right leg a little bit more back. Slide it back, open up the pelvis. Now bring the other leg back, plank position. Good wishy, good effort. Plank position, bodies in one line. Stay here. 
knees down, chest down, chin down. Inhale, glide up into Cobra. Exhale, inverted V, push into the palms. Inhale, bring the right leg up, bring it in between the palms. Exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, slowly coming up, feeling everything arching back and down. Left side, last one. Inhale, exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up, stretch the body up and arch back. Exhale, come all the way down, fingers in line with the toes. Inhale, bring the left leg back, chin up, chest up. Retain the breath, other leg back. Exhale, knees, chin, chest down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up. Bring the leg forward. Other leg forward. Inhale, arms up, arch back and release. Very good. And now the shram. Feeling the body. Breathing in and breathing out. Bring the legs together, bring the hands in front of you. Coming up on the tips of the toes and slowly lying back, finally, Shavasana. Arms apart, legs apart, and relax. Okay, we're going to begin the meditative part of the class now. We've already gotten into this with the sun salutations. So just allow the spine to settle back into the mat and just lie back, Shavasana. Arms apart, legs apart. Breathing in and breathing out. Connecting to the breath. Slowing down the beating of the heart. I'm mentally preparing ourselves for the practice of asana. In today's class, we're going to try and meditate in these postures. Unless your asana is grossly incorrect, I won't be correcting you. Slowly stretch the arms up over and above the head. Stretch the legs. Stretch everything. Bring the hands underneath the thighs and slowly start rolling on the spine. And now we're going to be doing either the headstand or the shoulder stand. So if you'd like to practice the headstand, this is the time. Otherwise, if you just want to get into a more meditative state of mind, do what you can. So either the headstand or the shoulder stand. So the shoulder stand, we're just going to lift the hips up, come all the way up. And if this is not possible for you, just 
do the Vipriti Karni or bring the legs up like this. And if you're on your period, just bring the legs out in front of you and sit the Baddha Konasana. Keep the pelvis open and just lie back and let the pelvis open up. So a few different variations depending on where you are. And if you'd like to do the headstand, then please try. Based on what we've learned in our last couple of classes, Very good. I guess no one is in the mood of headstand. That's fine. Good. Priyasha is doing it. And just breathe in and breathe out. Vinayaka, bring the ankles. Yeah, see, do it with support. Yes, please try. And now let's adjust the asana. So bring the knees down on the forehead and bring the elbows close together. And now bring the legs up and let's try to have a straighter headstand, shoulder, shoulder stand, sorry. And some of our more senior practitioners, Hina, Samira, Ashwin, slide the hands down towards the head so that the legs are even you feel the more pressure in the towards the chin. So try to bring the position of the hands on the middle back and then the upper back. This will allow you to do a straighter posture. And Shipra, you can try without the wheel now. You can do it. And stay here and breathe, breathe and breathe. Good Rishi, good attempt. And try to stay in the posture and breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful, Zainab. Zainab, you do the headstand, please. Amazing, Nazneen. Amazing. Nazneen learned the headstand in the online workshop and now she's holding for so long in such steady Steadiness. And try to look straight, don't look towards the screen. And close the eyes and breathe. Breathe and breathe. Stay in the posture. I know it's hard. Stuti, bring the ankles and hips in one line. Trying to focus on the sound. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out, challenging yourself by staying in the posture. This is where the challenge is. It's not doing difficult asanas. It's about steadying the mind to be able to stay in one posture for a long time. This is truly yoga. Now, slowly, let's drop the right leg over and above the head and come back up. Let's drop the left leg over and above the head and come up. And one more time, right leg, left leg, and now slowly with control, you're going to drop both the legs over and above in the Halasana. And you can, if the legs reach back, drop the hands down and pull, otherwise just keep supporting. And Shipra, I want you to try without the support of the wheel. Props are meant to help us get into the asana, but eventually, just like in life, we have to let go of the support. Very good. And if this is challenging for you, there's always the option of the 
Raj Kapoor Asan, the pigeon pose. So Surbhi can take that. And if you are obviously doing the headstand, as always, you have to do the shoulder stand afterwards. Very good. Nice. And Hina, keep the knees straight. And Vinayaka, let's get into the posture. You're doing very, very well. So I think there's some issue. Beautiful. Come, Rishi, try the Halasan. You were doing it so well. Good, Kano. So if you try to bring the legs down on the ground. And just stay here and hold, hold and hold. Keeping the knees straight. Knees straight, everyone. Amitabh Halasana. Beautiful, Vatsala, beautiful. Slowly, slowly moving here. That was for the ladies on their periods. <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> I know it's a relaxing posture though. <laughs> All right, good, good Nino, good posture. But you just push the put chin up, chest up a little bit. And try to bring the hips a little bit more on the ground. Great, now let everyone slowly, slowly. Everyone except Hina. Hina, I want you to, I want to see you do one perfect halasana. Okay, knees completely straight. Everyone else is going to roll out of the posture and lie back on the mats. You know, I try to bring the toes on the ground. Just try. You can push the back with the hands. Just close the eyes and with the breath, try and accomplish this. Now let's everyone move into the Matsyasana, the fish pose. Good job, Nina. Moving into the fish pose at your own pace, slow and steady. So you keep the hands underneath the body. And bring the chin up, chest up, coming on your elbows. Push the chin out, chest out, and slowly drop the head back. And stay here and breathe, breathe and breathe. Kashmir and whoever can do Padmasan comfortably is going to do this in the Padmasan. Good job. Rishi, just keep trying. That's good. Kanu, wonderful practice. Breathing in and breathing out. And now everyone is going to just go a little deeper in the posture. You're going to bring the elbows closer together and push the chest up. Nice, good seat. And those who are more advanced are going to be doing this in the Padmasana. Uh, Rishi, the legs are down on the mat. Head is down on the mat. Rishi, and you're going to grab a hold of the knees. So I'll just. Beautiful. Stay here and breathe, breathe, and breathe. The deepest breaths of the practice. I'd like the chest a little bit more up and try and slowly move the top of the head towards the body. This is an instruction for everyone. And keep the toes relaxed. The toes are relaxed. And just stay here and breathe, breathe, and breathe. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Finding the place of comfort in the asanas.
breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful prayer shot. And slowly bring the chin up, chest up, and hug the knees towards the chest and roll side to side. Rolling on the back, releasing any tension. Make sure you're moving the neck side to side. The reason we keep on doing these asanas, especially these three, is that they're such important poses. And they have so many benefits. And no matter what you do, if you're going to the gym, you're walking, you're doing Pilates, these benefits you cannot get. And now everyone just hug the knees towards the chest. Keep the head down and push the chin towards the chest and just stay here and breathe. Push the toes towards the head so you're gonna feel that stretch in your feet. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And now rolling all the way up. Staying in this small posture, making the whole body into a ball. And take your eye sockets and place them on your knees. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and come up and just blink. Let's blink 15 times. Blinking 15 times. Cleaning the eyes of all debris. Blinking is the best practice for the eyes. It really helps clean away all tensions and allergens. And now let's Keep the legs nice and wide in front of us. And push up with the hands. Keep the hands behind you and push the chest up. And just stay here for a moment. And I would, I don't know bending back. But let's move up. Okay, there should be a straight line between your hips and your shoulders. Raise the hands up. Push the knees now on the ground. Try to push the knees on the ground. Let's twist the body to the right. Center. Twist from the torso, not from the neck. Twist from the torso to the left. Center. Twist the waist back. Twist towards the left and back. Now slowly pull up all the way. Twist from the torso and slowly drop the hands down. Wherever they reach, if it's just your ankles or your thighs, that's also fine. And keep pushing the knees on the ground and push the chest out and take your shoulders and everyone's gonna take their shoulders, push them down and back. And just stay here and hold this posture, feeling the pressure in the knees as you push them down in the hamstrings. Just stay here and breathe. Breathe and breathe. Staying focused on the practice. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. And with every breath, trying to come a little bit further down. And even if you're just holding on to your knees, that's fine. The only movement that I want everyone to be actively making is keep pushing the knees down on the mat, on the ground. 
the knees are continuously moving down. And breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the left side of the waist. Beautiful stretch. Slowly coming all the way up. Now let's twist towards the left side. And we do the same on the left side. So trying to reach wherever you can. And again, what is the active moment is we're pushing the kneecaps down on the mat. And we're trying to come down even lower and stay here and breathe, breathe and breathe. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Keeping the focus and finding that stillness in the practice. Trying to move the abdomen a little bit more down the knees. This is a wonderful asana for the back. There was a recent study by Harvard Medical School and they said that this is, they were rating all of the different positions and for, from a physiotherapy point of view and they said this was one of the best asanas, not asanas, but you know, exercises. And now slowly coming all the way up, slowly, slowly coming up and now bring the legs together. And now let's do the full expression of this asana. Before we begin, we take a little flesh off the buttocks so that we're on our sit bones. We're going to bring the arms all the way up, push the chest out. We're going to come down and we're just going to pulse for a few moments. And then coming up all the way. Inhale deeply and exhaling, coming all the way down. And let's stay here, push the knees down, push the chest up and stay here and breathe. Closing the eyes and meditating on this posture. Keep pushing the kneecaps down. Take your chest, push the shoulders down and back and see the immediate difference in the posture. Keep breathing in and breathing out. The ankles are together, not apart. Beautiful Shifra. Close the eyes and breathe, breathe and breathe. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely. Rishi, just push the chest out a little bit more. Push the shoulders back and down. And everyone is going to now push the kneecaps towards the ground, getting a little bit deeper into the stretch. Stay here and breathe. Breathe. Holding it for one more minute.
slowly coming up all the way. Bring the hands behind you. Moving up and down a few times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale and now push the chest all, push the hips all the way up. Push it up. Push into the palms and keep the hips up. Very good. Stay here. Push up. Very nice. Just stay here. Strong arms, strong legs. Keep pushing up. Hips up a little bit more. And you just push the hips up a little bit more. Very good. And feel how you came down. And slowly with control, coming all the way down. And let's lie down on our abdomen and in Makrasana and take our rest. Okay? Making a pillow of the hands. Bring the ankles on the mat, toes together, and just stay here and breathe, breathe, and breathe. And let the whole body sink into the mat. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And now we're going to bring coming up into the Sphinx. Uh, Shalom Pujangasana. Bring the shoulders in line with the elbows so everything is one straight line and we're going to push the navel into the ground, keep the ankles together. Let's begin here. Keep pushing the navel down and keep the chin parallel. We're not pushing the head up. We're just keeping the chin in one line and if you want a little deeper, if you want to go deeper, you can bring the ankles together. This automatically makes this more challenging. Stay here and breathe. Now take your hands and place your chin in between your hands. So you're getting a nice stretch in your neck. Let the neck move up. Breathing in and breathing out. A good stretch for your cervical spine. And now slowly, from here we're going to get straight into the Dhanurasan, bring the knees together, grab hold of your ankles, and just doing as much as you can. I don't know, a very good effort today in class. And you can slowly stretch up all the way. Try to keep the ankles together. And if you're more advanced, little variation, you can switch the hands. Right hand, left ankle, left ankle, right hand, and come up. And stretch up all the way. Stay here and hold it. Breathe, breathe, and breathe. Bring, oh gosh, just bring the chin up a little bit. Hmm? A little bit, yeah. Pull the whole body. Pull, let the shoulders go back. Don't constrict the shoulders. Beautiful, Priyasha. And now let's roll side to side. We're moving all the way to the side. So bring the sh elbow, shoulder, all the way down. So you're... Right shoulder comes on the left side. Left shoulder comes on the right side. Okay. 
And then coming back to center, pulling all the way up, all the way up. And then we're going to release the posture and do a few cat and cow stretches. So coming up and down, just to release for the spine in the back. And now the Manjriyasana, we take the hands, bring them close to the knees, push the back up and look down. Pushing the hands down. Stay here and breathe, breathe and breathe. Opening up, relaxing the shoulders. And now, Shashankasana. We're going to stay here for three minutes. Bring the legs apart, hands up, and slowly coming all the way down. Stay here, rest, and relax. Trying to bring the hips on the ankles. Either the chin can be stretched out or you can keep your forehead on the ground. You have two options. If you want to go into the more advanced variation, you can bring the chin out or just put the shoulder, forehead down. So either the chin is on the mat or the forehead is on the mat, one of the two. Mm. Well, Shipra, uh, the, the hips have to be on the ankles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You may need to put a pillow underneath the head. Three minutes. Let's stay here. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Meditating on the stretch in the pelvis and the groin. Letting the body open up. So be you just do the child's pose. Hmm? And this is too difficult, you can always come into the balasana. Okay, if you're feeling very uncomfortable, you can move into the balasana. Which is the knees are together and the forehead is on the ground and the palms are facing up. So we're not trying to relax. We are working. And it is difficult <laughs> and it is challenging but we're trying to stay in the posture beautiful laugh right you know, sometimes when you meditate it's the hardest thing to do so let's stay here one more minute 60 seconds Keep that focus. Try to accomplish stillness in the posture. slowly bring the knees together and let's come to a comfortable sitting posture 
whatever that it is that you'd like to choose. And bring the cushion underneath your buttocks. And we're going to move into our pranayam. We're moving into the Kapalabhati and then the Anuloma Viloma practice. If any of our new attendees need any instruction in this, we can always send you a video later. Now focusing on the breath, keep the chin parallel to the ground. Keep the hands and chin mudra on the knees. Keep the spine as straight as you can. Let's inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhaling deeply. Let's begin. Hund, 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 hund. Hund, 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 and release. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And getting ready for one minute of breath retention, mentally preparing ourselves. Back straight, spine straight. Let's inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhaling deeply. Spine straight, back straight. Becoming one with the breath. And slowly release with control. Taking a few breaths at your own pace. And now take the right hand in a chin mudra, Vishnu mudra middle finger index finger on the palm take the right hand on your right nostril other two fingers on the left nostril keep the elbow close to the body and we're going to slowly first feel the breath in both the nostrils and now closing the right 
Let's inhale from the left. On one, two, three, four, breathe in. Exhale, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, right. One, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, left. One, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, left, one, two, three, four, retain, keep that focus. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four, retain. Spine straight, keep the chin parallel to the ground. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four, retain. Left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, left, one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four, retain, back straight, spine straight, chin parallel to the ground. Keeping the focus. Exhale, left, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, left, one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Inhale, right, one, two, three, four, retain. Exhale, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Drop the hand. And just observe the state of your mind. Observe the state of your body. There's a very big difference. And we're gonna try and take this state of mind with us through the day. And if things do bother us, we're going to try and remember this state of mind. Slowly lying down on the mat, arms apart, legs apart. Getting to the most important part of the class, the Shavasana, where we can really coalesce the benefits of the practice. Letting the body absorb. It's like when we bake a cake, if we don't allow it to cool, then the cake you won't be able to enjoy the cake at all. Just tune in. The wonderful Baba Hanuman. Lying back. Letting the spine relax. Back relax. Letting the whole body sink into the ground. Feeling the pranic energy in the body, in the toes, in the fingers. In the base of the spine. At the point in between your eyebrows. Breathing is slowing down. Now just not aggressively breathing, but paying attention to the breath. Don't try to breathe consciously. Try to breathe subconsciously. Let the body find its state. And resting and relaxing, knowing that this is the most important part of the practice. If we avoid this, then often we'll get injuries the lactic acid build up in the body. We're not allowing the benefits to percolate through our entire system. So no matter how rushed you are, always stay for this. Thank you.
bringing their attention back to the body, within the toes, within the fingers, and whenever you're ready, you can stretch the arms up, and if you're not ready, you can stay in Javasana, it's always an option, give the body the rest it needs. the posture conclude with our prayer Shishtate Om Shanti 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 Rub the palms together and the base of the palms on the eyes. And the base of the palms on the temples. Everyone thumbs up. Thank you everyone for coming to practice. And we have some exciting announcements today in class. So we have a self-care Saturday uh, from five to six. We have a wonderful um, person who's Rajvi, who's coming to speak on the effects of color and how colors can be used in healing and how what we wear, the colors that we wear, the foods that we eat and how color plays a very important role, role in our psychology and healing. So definitely, I think it will be very wonderful. There's also, she's doing a wonderful giveaway of a hamper of candles and soaps. So <laughs> try and come. <laughs> and then uh, we always make sure that one of you guys win it, okay? 
and then but I think this is being recorded so we're gonna have to edit that part out um, and then we have um, oh most important announcement we have chanting of the Mahi Ashra Stotam it's a beautiful beautiful Stotam to try and come it's just 15 minutes and it's a very very lively and very very wonderful chant so we're just coming together chanting that that'll be at um, 7 30 p.m. And we have a separate group where we're going to be dropping the WhatsApp link of the of the class of the of the of the thing. Just 15 minutes of chanting. We'll do that all together. And then tomorrow we have an evening class. So of course we have a morning class. We have Bhagavad Gita, and then there's also a class from six to seven. So we're going to try and introduce one weekend class um, on Saturday or Sunday or both, so that there's also an evening option. And guys. Uh, Baba Hanuman that we just heard, they're coming to perform live for us on Yoga Fan. So, which is next weekend. So Saturday, no classes. Next weekend and Sunday, we have 11 hours of class. Okay. <laughs> so do grab your tickets. Of course, if you guys are member, all the members will be getting your, um, your coupon code so you can book your tickets. Um, and if you're not members, then you guys can go and book a ticket. And the first 50 people who book their tickets get some presents a bamboo toothbrush <laughs> all right and some other stuff too all right thank you everyone okay see you guys now at yoga sun oh no tomorrow tomorrow uh sorry yeah <laughs> yes see i hope you're gonna get your prize i think uh i don't know why this thing is not allowing me to unmute you guys okay there we go all right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Eva. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nazneen. Thank, 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 thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, all, the, all, all, all the new people. All the new people. Just to let you know, Ira is the best yoga teacher in the world. Oh, He's thank you. He is transformed from many so so other people over the last month. Thank you. Rajiv is um, our very. Um, Sometimes, you know, Rajiv provides us the masculine energy we need in this entire studio. <laughs> Rajiv and Nirav. <laughs> More Rajiv than Nirav, because Nirav tends to bunk sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Great Rajiv. Class, Thank, class. You. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, your daughter's so cute. Hi. And every week. Oh, all these kids are so cute. They all do yoga along with their parents. It's so nice. <laughs> What's your name, Ashwin's daughter? Uh, Rihanna. Oh, hi, Rihanna. How are you? What are you saying? You're the same again. Oh. Seeing you the best in the world. Oh, that's so cute. That was. She doesn't really do yoga, so <laughs> it's so wonderful. Thank you, Lara. I have some. Thank you. Okay, Richie, I'll connect with you on message. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, see. Suti is. Okay. Uh, so, so something, something not really there, but 